Good morning guys, we're out here at the edge of the water. We have found these mysterious tracks here on the ground. It looks like they are none other than of the new Karoo 4 tire. What's going on guys? Take a look. We've got the Karoo 4 here on the 1190. Now I'm gonna take you for a ride to tell you what I think about my first 1,000 miles. Let's get to it. Got about a thousand miles on these tires and um, I'm noticing a little bit of separation or not chunking but tearing at the base of the lugs here. I've noticed that on the highway I get a little wallow and uh, I'll talk to you about that here in just a minute but wow look at this glorious sunrise. First thing I'm going to say is the actual tire itself isn't very flat it's super round when it comes to the radius of this tire. Take a look at that left hand side. As soft as this mud is, those lugs are still not touching the dirt. Crazy. Same thing here in the rear. With as soft as this mud is, we should have an entire footprint of tire in the mud there if this was a different type or a flatter tread pattern, I should say. So this is the Karoo 4, and this here is the Tractionator Adventure. Take a look at how much more rubber is on the ground than you have on that guy over there wow about this tire is the lack of rubber that's actually on the road now in the twisties well we'll talk about that in a bit anyway let's get on the bike and let's get talking about the metzler Karoo 4. whoa slippery <laughs> this tire is very similar i want to say in roundness or profile shape to that of the Kenda big block. Um, the problem that I have with that tire is in a lot of situations, unless you are super aired down, you're not really getting that contact patch on the ground that you want or need when you're in a tricky situation. Now with these tires, the Crew 4s, I have noticed I've railed these things in the can. I rode Highway 18 up there in the San Bernardino National Forest. And uh, what I have found is that they corner really well. They turn into corners super quick, super easy. It's, whew, it's awesome. The problem that I've got is in that transition from being upright to being all the way over into that corner, you actually lose tread patch to the ground. Um, when I get leaned over into corners, you can't really hit this side. I mean, this is almost unaccessible to the ground. Um, and then when I'm leaned over, I've got this rubber strip right here that hits the ground. So not a ton of rubber is hitting the ground when this thing's leaned over in corners. Um, the sidewalls are not soft at all. Um, and what's happening is that tire isn't changing its profile any, and you're just getting less and less rubber contact with the ground as you go over and that was a little bit sketchy in some of the situations that i was in i was breaking traction in the rear and it was only i don't know 50 or 60 degrees so it wasn't even really cold outside now probably the biggest thing i noticed on the highway was the fact that it didn't matter if i was on asphalt like we have here or if i was on rain groove let's check it out and see where it happens today but I get this undulation. It's almost like the front and the rear tire, there's a little bit of like frame move. It's almost like action from the rear, which is really weird. It's like the way that the blocks are set up, they're talking to each other and we're getting this undulation or this sway um, in the frame of the motorcycle, which I didn't have on the last many, many, many sets of tires that I've had on this motorcycle. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, Pretty light. It's not like we're getting big tank slappers, but we're getting this, I don't know what to call it, the front wheel and the rear wheel are doing this bit down the road. Kind of an odd feeling that a motorcycle is creeping up on us here. Now, I was out in the mud the other day and I found great traction though like I bounce into mud puddles that I know I potentially would have lost the front end on on many of the other tires that I've ridden these tires did a really good job I go in if it lost itself it really had a 
snap or a way of grabbing itself back traction. Ah! We're just wrapping up our muddy, dirty part of the photo shoot. Now it's time to head in the Lattle Creek, see if we can't get some photos in the pines. Off road here in Lattle Creek. A little bit of ice right here. Ice mode. What's up, Baron Bradshaw? Take a look, that spot that we camped out. We flew the drone right over there. Check it out, it's snow. Do you want to come camp in the snow for your birthday? How's that sound? That guy in front of me, his name is Bill Johnson. He's been a supporter of the channel for several years. One of the first patrons the channel had actually. And uh, today he came out and went to work with me. Shot some rig gear product. And uh, also out here testing out these Karoo 4 tires from Metzler, pretty bitchin'. Got the brand new Karoo 4 here on the 1190. Doing pretty good so far. Got about uh, 110 miles on it so far. You guys having a horrible day? No, this does not suck. Does not Fantastic suck? Fantastic day. Awesome, dude, look at this. Snowcapped mountains. Huh. What a fun day. Over and it's time to head home. Here it is, traffic. It was so nice being out there in the fresh air, in the quiet. All right guys, time for a day at work. Dude, these things are so cool. These are our five liter rig packs. So they attach via Velcro up around the crash guard and they got straps to go around the front. This side over here has all of my tools in it. Super cool unit. Anyway, back to the tires. Um, yeah, so this is what about a thousand miles looks like. With lots of great wear here on the front. That is for sure. Uh, can I see those chunks right here? Look at this, this tire has a bunch of chunks missing out of it. Um, and then these are those cracks or tears down here at the bottom that I'm getting at each of these lugs. That being said, um they're pretty good they felt good they gave good feedback overall i'm happy with the true four um it's going to be interesting to see how they wear over the long run so stay tuned